Hi, I'm Alicia Sterling. I am here with Maya, who is our Dewdrop Fairy, one of the Dewdrop Fairies. Um, we are outside of MoGo, which is an amazing emergency room. <laughs> uh, believe me, it is utilized <laughs> very much so here in Carmel. Um, we are going to talk about the Monterey Peninsula Ballet Theater's production of The Nutcracker. It's coming up on December 3rd through 5th at the Sunset Center, so don't miss that. And we are going to talk here to Maya, who is a veteran of The Nutcracker. <laughs> I am. You are a veteran. How many years? I am years? a veteran. I believe this is my 10th year. 10th Ten or 11th. Oh my gosh. Insane. Absolutely insane. Can you name all the, the parts you played? I think I can. Um, I've been... Bonbon. Bon. I've been a mini Spanish. I've been a mini angel. I've been shepherdess like two times. I've been Clara. I've been Snow Queen. I've been um, the Dewdrop Fairy. I've I've been like Seraphim. I've been like uh, Clara's sister Louise. And then I'm Dewdrop Fairy again this I year. Mean, it's okay, insane. so you can pretty much play any part of the Nutcracker. I, I mean, think, it's yeah, I it's think embedded I in you now. Oh, for sure. Like the music, I can just like think about, like instantly think about it. Like, oh my yeah. gosh! And what, do you think it's gotten? I mean, I mean, being ten years, are you getting like? Does it still give you the same feeling? Oh, definitely, for sure. Like. Aww. I feel like it's such a special thing, and I think the thing that makes it um, so unique is like. Um, a different cast every year, yeah. which is super exciting because I get to see like, oh, like this person played Clara that's like last year, and now they're playing like the Dewdrop Fairy. Like I just think that's so like so great. neat, and like getting to see how people like improve, especially like over the year. Yeah. I think Nutcracker is just a great way to like show off how people have improved. Yeah, yeah. that's it's so, so fun. wonderful. So fun. So uh, tell me this year, um, the Dewdrop Fairy. What what type of character is she? Um, she's very, like, fun and playful and, um, very, like, lively, I think, um, especially Waltz of the Flower, the whole scene, um, is very, like, uplifting and, like, the music is just super, like, like, I don't know, like, it's super full and, like, loud and, yes. like, exciting, not boring at all. All of the choreography is very, like, strategic and yeah. we do a lot of, like, formations that are appealing to like the audience's eye and yeah. I think the Dewdrop Fairy kind of just livens the whole mood and is super like I mean she's a fairy I like, know yeah. yeah I mean you can't go wrong with a fairy exactly yeah <laughs> so um have you been fitted for your costume yet I have not actually but okay. um Miss Tia has sent us photos of our tutus and they're very pretty oh I can't wait to see yeah. it I know I talk about costumes way too much you've heard me way <laughs> too much so I do love costumes yeah. so much um so I do have to say uh, the interesting thing, now I have been with this child <laughs> for many, many years yeah. um, in the dance experience, and I have to say, her and I have had some experience in the emergency room, so we it was have. very fitting <laughs> that we are doing this interview here. I actually have a couple pictures that I'm going to post. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that, um, you know, I had to take the gratuitous selfie of this one in pain as I'm, you know, <laughs> just kind of sitting there going, look where we're at. Um, do you have any now you are a junior I am a junior okay yeah. are you gonna do it again next year I uh, definitely of course I mean I you am. have to right I mean last year we didn't <laughs> even get to do it so I, know, it, I feel like it kind of just makes up for it I yeah. know that's very true mm -hmm. and speaking of COVID I mean now that things are opening up I I have brought up quite a few times with the dancers you know with the masks and everything and how um, I'm really impressed with how you guys have been able to power through this and dance through this, yeah. literally dance through this um, with the masks on. Do you find it, it it hinders your experience in dance or do you think that you guys have gotten used to it or? I've definitely gotten used to it now. Um, I think especially for Nutcracker, I do think it kind of um, is a bit um, annoying at times yeah. because I feel like half the performance of the Nutcracker is your face and is True. expressing yes. your role. Um, so I, I am actually, like my mom and I were talking about it, like we're really um, um, interested to see if we're going to be wearing masks for the performance or not at Sunset yeah. Center. Um, because I do think that your face and like your expression is a Absolutely. big part of um, performance. Yeah, so. hopefully it stays on the up and up. Yeah. I mean, so far so good. I mean, I say that in a way where, of course, our hearts are with everyone that's experiencing this right now, but it's, um, 
I just, you guys are amazing, the fact that you practice hours on end with the mask on and, I, you know, I can barely get to the end of the driveway shows, with the mask yeah. on. <laughs> I think that just shows, like, how much we all love dance. Yeah. Though. Like, we're that, dedicated, like, to wearing a mask for, like, six hours. And you just, definitely yeah. are dedicated, mm -hmm. 100%. Well, speaking of the dedication, after the emergency room, she <laughs> went back out on the stage. I did. <laughs> we got back to the convention, I believe it was, yeah. right? And... This one gets back on the stage literally an hour and a half after yeah. um, being injured. So yeah, that was a fun experience. <laughs> I guess you you guys just rally through anything, basically. Yeah. Right. Um. So, tell me about um, the choreography and everything. Are you excited about um, any new choreography? I know that you I, are yes. um, uh, dancing in kind of a, a situation with Fiona. Right, right. So you guys are playing off of each other exactly. a little bit. Yeah. Um, I actually really enjoy the choreography this year. Um, since this is my first Nutcracker with MPVT, um, it's definitely refreshing yes. and um, exciting to learn new choreography. Um, it's also very nice because the choreography is tailored to like Fiona and I and what we enjoy so doing um, and what looks best on us, which is really nice. And Fiona, Fiona and I have been dancing together for so long, oh, so I know. it's super easy. The two of us just communicating, seeing what works, what doesn't. Yeah. And yeah. I really have well. seen these two dance together and it's, it's, it's magical. <laughs> so it's very cool. Um, so do you have any, I don't know, future goals in the Nutcracker? Like, do you have any roles that you just kind of go, I want to, I want to do that. Um, I mean, since you've done them all. I have, I have done <laughs> quite a few. I think, yeah, I believe there was one point where you actually have learned the sugar plum fairy. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did so I mean, it. like yeah. if anything happens, this one can pick up literally any spot, yeah. but, um, is there, I mean, do you have any goals? Um, or are you good? I mean, just, it's kind of fun just to it is. do everything, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like a lot of people would expect that I would want to be the Sugar Plum yes. Fairy, which I actually don't. I just think it's a lot of, I mean, right now, I just think it's a lot of stress. Yeah. And um, stamina also is a big thing for yeah. the role. And I just don't think that I would be suited for it um <laughs> i would say like arabian has always been a dream of yes. mine um yeah that's probably that. it be, yeah, yeah that's a good those are good goals i yeah. like that i mean i always but anything like you anything exactly. you go in exactly. you're, it's an, an incredible yeah every role that i've seen in the nutcracker and i've seen you play in the nutcracker is has been incredible yeah. i did i thoroughly enjoyed the snow queen <laughs> thank you <laughs> So anyway, well, thank you so much for talking to me and um, outside of the emergency room. Hopefully, it is our last visit to the Hopefully, emergency room. Hopefully, that'd be good. I yeah. mean, we don't yeah. want to be here again. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> but if you do have a need, this place is amazing. I did happen to bring Alexa here just the other right, day. I heard so, about that. <laughs> yeah, it works out really well. Yeah. But anyway, um, come to the Sunset Center, December 3rd through 5th, Monterey Peninsula Ballet Theater's Nutcracker. It will be incredible. See, this one is the Dewdrop Fairy. Yep. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, Maya. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs>